Hello everyone, let's solve three sum today. So it's a very typical problem and the optimal solution is uh, two pointer plus sorting. Okay, let's take a look at this problem. So the problem is uh, give us an integer and array and ask us to find all unique triplets in the array, which gives sum of zero. For example, a negative one, negative one, two is a valid triplet and negative one, zero, one is also a valid triplet. Notice that there is another negative one. So this negative one, zero, one is also a valid triplet, but we need to re uh, return all unique triplet. So we should not contain duplicate triplets. Okay, a naive solution is uh, we can have three for loop for i, for j, for k, and then check if the sum is zero. If it's zero, we can include them, otherwise we exclude them. Okay, this algorithm will take O n and two three and it definitely will TLE. So we need to optimize our algorithm a little bit, for example, O n square. Okay, let's come up with an O n square solution. It's uh, using sorting and two pointers Okay, this is our example, negative one, zero, one, two, negative one, negative four. First, we sort it, we can use in placement, uh, in place sort. Okay, then we can give some index to make it uh, much more clear. Okay, next we can use two pointer. First, we fix i at zero, then we place straight right, after i and place k at the end. Okay. Now, nums i plus num j plus num k is negative three, which is smaller than zero. So we need to move j to make the sum bigger, greater, right? Okay, as long as it's still like smaller than zero, we need to move j. Okay, now j k meet, so we can stop, we fix i at one and we reset j and k. Okay, now nums i plus num j plus num k is zero. We find a valid uh, triplet. So we add negative one, negative one, two to our answer. Then we move j and k. Then we find the sum is also zero. So we can add them to our answer. Then we move j and k again. Then we can stop, then we move i. Note, when i is two, we know uh, when i is at index two, the value is still negative one, it's same as the previous index. So in this case, we can skip i so that we can skip those duplicate triplets. So the condition is as long as num i is same as num i minus one, we can skip this i. So we can fix i as three and we set j and k and we find sum is three, which is greater than zero. So we just move k and we can also stop since j k meet. Then we can reset i. At this point, there's no meaning to run this algorithm since there are at most two elements left. So we can just stop. Okay, how do we code? We have a result. This is our um, final result we want, want to return. Okay, first, we sort our nums. Then we fix i, so we have outer for loop to fix i. Okay, as we mentioned, uh, this is used for the dupe. As long as num i is same as the previous element, we can skip this i. Next, we set j and k. As long as j is smaller than k, we can keep running. Okay, first we get the sum. Then we check if sum is smaller than zero, we move j in order, we in, uh, in order to make the sum greater. Else if sum is greater than zero, we move k in order to make sum smaller. Otherwise we find a valid um, triplet. We just put it into our result. Then we move j and k. Um, is it a valid answer? Let's uh, think about this example. When i is zero, j is one, k is four, we know the sum of 
num i num j num k is zero. So negative three, negative one, four is a valid triplet. So then we move j and k. Now i is zero, j is k two, k is three. Then we push back another duplicate triplet, which is negative three, negative one, four. So we have duplicate triplet. So here we need to apply the same mechanism that said we apply to i. We need to skip those duplicate elements. For example, here j is negative one. Next time we can just skip those duplicate elements. Okay. So the time complexity here is O n squared since we have a outer for loop and inner while loop. And the space complexity is O results. Since um, we don't use any other complex data structures, and this is only data structures we use to store our results. And the sorting algorithm we can use like in placement, like in place sort actually. So we can optimize the algorithm to own square, and we can pass the leak code and test cases. That's it. Thanks.